there's lots of different cannabinoids that uh, that are made or uh, that can be made that the cannabis plant has the ability to make. One of them, the most famous one, obviously, being tetrahydrocannabinol or THC, is uh, you know that's the famous psychoactive molecule from cannabis that everybody is pretty familiar with. But THC has what I would call a silent sister. There's there's one molecular change, a very minor change between CBD and THC as an organic structure, but it makes a world of difference the way that it binds in our bodies. And um, because of that, it's it's completely non-psychoactive. So like I was saying before, these, these structures are just barely different. But because of that, THC is like, you can think of it as an analogy between a, a lock and a key. If THC and CBD are keys, then we have locks uh, within our bodies that, that they bind into and fit perfectly into. And although there's just a small structural difference, THC binds to receptors that are most commonly found in the brain, uh, and, and they are responsible for its psychoactivity, whereas the CBD receptors are most spread out through the immune system and bone cells. So these, uh, it obviously, without being in your brain, you know, being distributed to the other tissues in your body, it doesn't give you that same kind of psychoactive effect. So a very small difference between the two. They almost look, uh, they almost look the same if you were to draw out the structures. But because they bind in different spots in the body to different types of receptors, they have vastly different effects on, on what they do to us.